cities are growing congested and overcrowded as the world's population grows. Architects are trying hard to come up with solutions to these difficulties, and some of them seem downright ridiculous. But perhaps insanity is exactly what we need to host the 9 billion people who will be wandering the globe by the mid-century. So, let's have a look at the world's most insane concept skyscraper. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get an update on our videos. Starting us off, Chicago Spire Tower At 1,048 feet at its roof and 2,000 feet at its spire, the Chicago Spire Tower, proposed for a prominent 2.2-acre site on North Water Street near Lakeshore Drive and Navy Pier, will be the highest structure in the United States. Calatrava's sole slender design is given shape by a wave-like glass facade. Each floor unit of a skyscraper is a box with softly curved, concave edges radiating from the center core. Each box is rotated by fewer than 2 degrees from the one below, forcing the floors to turn 270 degrees around the core as they rise, creating the illusion of movement on the facade. The architecture provides the building with a spectacular profile and allows for more latitude in creating living space than typical high-rise buildings. Wind turbulence, which affects all tall buildings, is reduced by the twisting tower. The uneven surface of the tower disperses wind forces rather than concentrating them. As a result, the design reduces lateral movement. Next, Tour Sans Fins Early La Defense designs inspired the Tour Sans Fins. The Grand Arcade was created in an undeveloped area. To demonstrate La Defense's unfinished buildings, the winning design was chosen next to an RER outdoor parking lot. Despite having already committed 20 million French francs, the project was cancelled due to technical issues and the early 1990s economic crisis. The skyscraper was to have a one-of-a-kind design. The cylinder-shaped base of the tower was black, becoming clearer as it approached the sky, giving the impression that the tower was disappearing. The top of the building would have a tuned mass damper and a crater-like base many floors below ground. Elevators were to be placed on the sides, providing panoramic views as they ascended and allowing the offices to occupy the center. Unpolished black granite, anthracite granite, mica, aluminum, stainless steel, reflecting glass, tinted glass, silk screen glass, and clear glass were used to create the illusion of the tower dissolving into the sky. Moving on, Earth Scraper Architects have created an astonishing 65-story Earth Scraper that descends 300 meters below Earth. The magnificent upside-down pyramid in the heart of Mexico City is intended to circumvent height restrictions on new structures in the capital. The underground system will have 10 levels for housing, shops, and a museum, and 35 stories for offices. The design is topped with a Mexican flag. According to Esteban Suarez of BNKR Arquitectura, the building will also contain a new cultural center. Pyramids have played an essential role in Mexico's architectural history as ancient civilizations frequently built massive pyramid constructions. When the Aztecs first arrived in the Valley of Mexico, they constructed their pyramids on the lake they discovered. As the Aztec Empire expanded in size and strength, they envisioned a larger pyramid. Still, instead of looking for a new location, they erected it on and around the existing one. As a result, classic pyramids are made up of distinct layers of historical periods. Following that, Dynamic Tower the Dynamic Tower, the world's first moving structure, is also the first skyscraper powered by wind and solar energy. The Dynamic team has spent over a decade researching innovative building components, interacting with the environment, and regulating energy flows via the building surface. As a result, an intelligent building features external components that control thermal comfort and energy consumption. The Smart Envelope study has been tested in multiple projects with significant building material companies and is now suitable for industrial applications. As a result, Smart Envelope's technology is critical to the rotating tower's energy self-sufficiency and energy demand reduction. Dr. Fisher's rotating tower plan is groundbreaking in terms of form and architecture, emphasizing environmental conservation and industrial manufacturing in the future metropolis. These green buildings will serve as a model for eco-friendly towns. Alternative fuels will power all modes of transportation and eliminate the need for automobiles, ushering in a brighter future. Next, A. Curia Underwater Skyscraper Architect Vincent Callebaut has unveiled A. Curia, a 3D-printed skyscraper village that can house up to 20,000 people while also being self-sufficient and reducing the Earth's carbon footprint. These jellyfish-inspired ocean skyscrapers have above-surface entrances and docks, spiraling down to 1,000-meter depths where homes, offices, workshops, science laboratories, sea farms, agricultural areas, and shared orchard can be found. 
Air is spontaneously refreshed by convection through wind chimneys in the tower or by an oxygen station. And according to Mr. Kalyabout, food comes from coral reefs, farming areas, and fisheries. He claims that the fruit and vegetables can be grown inside the eco-villages and fishing in the ocean. Mr. Kalyabout also suggests that these 500-meter-wide, 250-floor eco-villages will be spread across the world's major oceans, according to the Daily Mail. Finally, Big Bend Taking the city's eccentric zoning restrictions to their logical conclusions, Oyo's design sees two slim residential skyscrapers sprout up on 57th Street, also known as Billionaire's Row, due to the large number of premium apartment complexes being built there. To truly distinguish itself from its architectural competition, this outrageous plan does not end in mid-air like 432 Park Avenue. Instead, the two structures meet in the middle, producing an enormous arch well over the Manhattan skyline, and maybe the world's longest building. It may appear absurd, but Oyo believes it could be a viable path to architectural immortality in a world where records count and rational designs usually fall by the wayside. The Big Bend can become a modest architectural answer to Manhattan's height limits. The architects argue, without worrying about the restrictions of the sky, we can now offer our structures with the measures that will make them stand out. If you were wondering why Oyo released this design, their final rendering, a bizarre image of an interior at the building's curving peak, provides some hints. So that marks the end of today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the section below. Thanks for watching.